Are both my mods here, or is it just Miss Champagne? Don't need health. I'm at full health. Oh, that feels so good to beat the second boss of the game and come out with full health. Oh, yes. Actually, let's see. Who is this? My second son, my lass, has followed his brother to the Elysian fields. In my heart, I know I must continue the work of the gods. But they are t they take so much, and at last my soul begins to doubt. Pathos, Verdes the Third. Oh, did you notice something with this one? It didn't say loyal servant, uh, chief architect, and loyal servant of the gods. So he's beginning to doubt himself. Uh, oh my, I'm I'm getting some head here. So excuse excuse the noises. You have acquired the architect's son's head. No special exit or anything? So, Miss Champagne, what I'm planning on doing for um, the God of War, the new God of War, is I'm going to put my channel in follower mode. And I'm going to make it so that if anybody wants to talk on my channel, they have to have followed my channel for at least an hour. is impressive, Kratos, but your skills will not carry you to your ultimate goal. I offer you the souls of Hades itself, the souls of the dead, who stand mm. ready to fight by your side. Oh, yes. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemy. Acquired the Army of Hades. Soul Search. Okay, watch how good this magic is. Yeah, I know. But it's only level one right now. 
later on when you power this up, which, how much does it cost to power up? 4,500. So I need nine? No. 15. I need 15 to power it up. I'm already halfway there, which isn't too bad. No, uh, later on when I actually max it out, Champagne, it is like one of the best spells in the game. Plus, pair it with uh, Rage of the Gods. Um, so, how do I look at... Okay, so with my Blades of Chaos, what I just unlocked with Rage of the Gods is um, Unlimited Magic. So whenever I'm in Rage of the Gods, I have unlimited magic. So what you do is you start the... Um, you start the uh, magic cast of it. Well, I should say you start the battle with using Rage of the Gods while you have full magic. And then you just power through, just pound through as much freaking magic as possible so you can tear up the enemy. And then you move. It, and then just as just before it ends, you um, hit. Well, you start with army uh, army of Hades. Spam Poseidon's rage, and then you just keep spamming Poseidon's rage. Keep doing the. Um, you just keep doing a combo like that. And it, it's trust me, it is deadly. Oh, and now we drain the. Guess what? Hey, look what we have there. And look what I'm about ready to do here. Open up this door. Alright, so, first things first. Let's line up. Stupid camera. So I can only turn one way. So we start from inside and go out. Alright, so we go to there. Now when we turn this... So I need it to face the door. Now we have from almost outside. Okay, so now I just got to do this side. Which I think it's that back this way. So now we grab this. I'm going to go ahead and get this one all set up first. Okay. 
Okay, why did that seem to screw up everything? Because I had this one lined up. There we go. Also, chat, watch the... There we go. <laughs> did you see that? Watch what happens. Watch, watch the background behind me. Watch the tunnel. You see that? Limitations of the game still programmed in with the PS2 memory limitations. So as you can see, that tunnel is clearly an image, not rendered at all. And if you keep going this way, more and more of it becomes less rendered comes images until you hit hit a point that it renders all because of ps2 memory limitations that's still in the The, that rendering is just something left over from the old PS2 game. Instead of them actually remastering the game and actually, you know, putting in the rendering that the PS3 could do, no, they just, like I said, it's just an HD remaster. Whatever. Alright, here we go. The light shall shine. You have to give this architect one hell. You had to have one hell of an engineering degree to not only make all these puzzles, to make it so that the different rings of the temple itself could move around. But once you solve it, then the statue of Zeus raises out of the center of the temple and is proclaimed to all. That there is a mortal getting close to the end. All while on the back of a giant titan. I have to say, it's pretty impressive for ancient times. I don't know about you. Alright, now let me leave. And the handle's pulled away. Alright. Save. Are you back, Midnight? There's the rendering again. Your progress is impressive, Kratos. But be warned. Once you ascend to the upper levels of the temple, you will not be able to return without Pandora's box. Oh, I'm I'm done. Let's just go. Let's get Pandora's box. As Kratos rose through the massive temple constructed to guard Pandora's box. He realized it was a monument not only to the gods of Olympus, but to the madness of the warrior who had designed it. He'd conquered the lower floors of Pandora's temple, but what lay in way to Bach would test even the greatest of all.
Now, for another new enemy to be introduced. The Satyr. And this guy is just bleeding cool. Oh yeah, I forgot the cheap way that you can defeat these guys. But only if you really have one of them. Let me? Nope. These guys are tough. You can just grapple them to death. Completely forgot about this trick. But again, like I said, it only works when you have one. As soon as you get multiples, it's invalid.
cheap, but you know what? Still gets you a victory. Still gets you a victory. I already got full health. Story dump. Kratos had been in service to the gods long enough to know the harpy had been sent as a warning, a reminder from his former master of the decision that had cost Kratos everything. Had it been no, that no. long since he'd almost met his end at the hands of the barbarians? That long since he'd traded everything to save himself? Ares! The sky split apart. And the god of war stepped through. Descending from Olympus, he saw the makings of a god in a mere mortal. Ares would save Kratos. He would turn him into the perfect warrior, his servant on Earth. Only a simple pledge of loyalty was required. My life is yours, Ares. From this day, I shall carry forth your will. And his fate was sealed. As promised, Ares rescued his new disciple, bringing forth the power of a god. Destroying those who would slaughter Kratos and his men. Ow. That was a backbreaker. Ooh. As for Kratos, and only a sword and shield would befit the newest servant of the god of war. The blades of chaos, forged in the foulest depths of Hades. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body, a permanent reminder of Kratos' pledge. In return, ultimate power. The rage of Ares exploded from within. But soon, he would learn the true cost of such power. A cost too high even for Kratos to pay. Wretched beast! I know who it is you serve! Return to your master! Tell the god of war I am his no longer. Tell him he is not safe while I walk the earth. I will find Pandora's box. And I will use it to see him tremble and fall before me. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Looks like a destroyable wall. Yeah. Ooh. More red. Remember, I need 15. Ooh, that game is free. Oh yes! Oh yes! Time to power up the army of Hades. Whoops. Then it only has one more upgrade after this and it's fully 10,000 orbs, so that is 30, 30 is 9,000, 30 is 9,000, and I need another 1,000, so I need basically 33 and a half.
Some of these guys farm to bring over here. Come on. Come on. I did say two and a half hours to finish, right? When I started? I said two and a half hours at five hours and thirty minutes play. Red eyes. cheap.